Creativity is not a mystery. In fact, I have a very simple example that, exa that explains exactly what it is. Imagine that I have this piece of clay and I put it on the table and I ask someone, I ask a group of people, please look at this thing and tell me what you see. It is safe to assume that most of them will say, this is a piece of clay. Clay, piece of clay, chunk of clay, whatever. So I, I take those people, I send them away, I call a sculpture, and I ask the sculpture to make me a horse, a horse out of this clay. Not something that fancy, just a horse. So after a few minutes, I have a horse. I send him away, I call another group of people, and I ask them the same question. What do you see? It's again safe to assume that most people will say, well, that's a horse. Maybe some of them will say, it's a sculpture of the horse, but none of them will mention the clay. The clay that was the essence of what that thing was just a few minutes ago. Vanished, disappeared. So you see, the artist kind of erased the clayness from the piece and introduced the hoarseness into it. And this is exactly what creativity is. Creativity is the transformation of the way we look at things. And that's what creativity is. The perception is changed. Okay. Let's put this notion into action. Are you ready? You're all going to be creators now. Imagine I gave everybody a piece of paper. And I asked you to transform this piece of paper to something else. So it's no longer a piece of paper. What can you do to this piece of paper so it's no longer a piece of paper? Think about it. Take a few seconds. Give me your suggestions. A plane. Correct. What else? A hat. Correct. It's easy, you see. A flower. Wonderful. You like flowers. What else? A boat. Write a letter, right? CO2. CO2. You mean burn it? Who said? We can burn it, right? Okay, I also prepared a list. I also made my own suggestions. And if you can see, I already arranged them in three categories. Three types of actions. Can you see what these types are? Look at the list. Any suggestions? The first one, the, the longer list, what, what, is, what is in common? Change. Form. form. Yeah, changing the form, you know? When we cut it, we actually change its form. When we make a boat, we change the form. A hat, a ball, you know, just smash it, we just change the form. An airplane, a pipe, whatever. And the second list, we were adding something to it. When we draw on the paper, we add the ink to the paper. So it's long, lo no longer a paper. When we write on it, it's a, it's a letter. And yet we can glue something on it, and we can wet it. Like papier mache, you know? We add water. And the third group, which is the smallest, is? We took something away. So, actually, in order to perform any act of creativity, there are only three types of actions which are available for us. Adding, subtracting, and changing the form. That's all. So, we know what creativity is. We know exactly how it works. So how come being creative is so difficult? Because our mind hates it. It hates it. 
A mind is a machine, it's an economical machine that likes to shape patterns and then follow them so it doesn't have to think. That's how we can walk without thinking. We drive without thinking. We can do a lot of work without thinking. I sometimes talk without thinking. Creativity, on the other hand, requires the breaking of patterns. So this pattern addict is a lousy candidate for the job. Let me emphasize this point. In front of you is a list of acronyms. They all represent very famous idioms. They're well known even to Hebrew speakers. Okay? Each one of them includes a number which is the key to the solution. I'll give you one minute. Let's see how many you can crack. Let's look for the first example, 7DW. What is it? Seven days a week. Seven days a week. Okay, so you get it? You have one minute to try and crack as many as possible. Write your solutions in your notebook if you want. Don't invent your own. They're all famous. Look for the famous ones. Ready? Go. You have one minute. more seconds. <laughs> Who is finished? Raise your hand if you're finished. You need more time? Okay. Ready? Stop. As you can see, it was almost impossible to complete all the puzzles. And this is because each and every, each one of the idioms lies in a different context. And in order to see them all, we must hop from one context to another, an exercise our brain is not so fond of. And when we do find one, we fall in love with it and we get stuck. We are trapped in the context in which it was fun. Who got stuck? with 24 hours a day after the seven days of the week. Raise your hand. That's right, I trapped you. I gave you the direction. The context was time. So you were trapped. And you stayed there almost all the one minute and 15 seconds. That's how our brain works. It loves frames and things that already worked. Okay? How do we break free? Well, there are several ways. Let's put up uh, the rest of the solutions and uh, I'll show you one of the ways. Okay, who got 60S? 60S, any suggestion? Six degrees of separation, correct. The price is on the way out. Because I said, don't invent, go for the most famous. I warn you, 95 stands for? 9 to 5. Who got that? Good. H5. High five. High five. Who didn't get that? Who did? Raise your hand. <laughs> you see, so easy, but you couldn't get it because your mind went somewhere else. 7 WW. No, it's not the Seventh World War, God forbid. It's. Seven wonders of the world, correct. 24 hours a day we already have. Four, we'll drive. 12, 
Zodiac signs, correct. And 80 days around the world, correct. So as a group, we were much better. You see, as a group, we're almost much better. And the reason is that this is how it is in life. In life, most of the time, we are stuck in one particular point of view. And we are trapped by that particular point of view all the time, or most of the time. And it's very, very hard to pull ourselves out. It's like, you know, there are many jokes about it. So what is your best rescue? What is your best rescue rope? The one sitting next to you. Thank you very much and happy rescues.